Hi guys, today we're going to be calculating number of moles. Okay, now to use number of moles, you're going to use this formula. Number of moles equals mass over molar mass. Okay, so the molar mass here, the molar mass you determine by calculating off of the periodic table, adding up all the relative um, atomic masses that are there, and we're going to use that along with the mass of a substance to work out the number of moles. So the first one I'm going to look at is this one here for ammonium phosphate. Okay, so ammonium phosphate is NH43PO4. So if you add up all of the masses for nitrogen, hydrogen, phosphorus and oxygen off of the periodic table, you'll end up with a molar mass of 149.0867 grams per mole. So the first thing you want to be able to do is make sure you can get that number by adding up 14.01 um, for nitrogen, 1.08 for hydrogen, etc. and getting the molar mass. Then it's very, very simple. If we want to calculate how many moles are in a mass of 6.2 grams, all we need to do is do number of moles equals mass over molar mass. So we're going to do 6.2 divided by the molar mass, which is 149.0867, and we get a value of 0.0416 mole. So the units we're using is mole. Um, you want to be able to be able to convert that into scientific notation as well. So that's 4.16 times 10 to the minus 2 moles if you're using scientific notation. And that's basically as simple as it is to be a calculating number of moles. So what I want to do is show you another example. Okay. The next example I'm going to show you is for, and I'm just going to change colour so you can see that it's a different one. So I'm going to go purple this time. And we're going to do it for copper hydroxide. So C-U-O-H-2. All right, copper hydroxide. The molar mass of copper hydroxide is 97.561. So you can get that value of 97.561, again, using the atomic masses off of the periodic table. And this time we're going to work out how many moles are in a mass of 2 by 10 to the 4 grams. Okay, so I'm trying to work in some scientific notation for you here. 2 times 10 to the 4 grams is the same as 20,000 grams, okay, or 20 kilograms. So that's what we're going to be trying to work out. So again, number of moles equals mass over molar mass. So you've got your 20,000. So it's really important that your mass is um, there properly. You could put 2 times 10 to the 4 as well if you want. And you divide that by the molar mass of 97.561. You end up with a value of 205 moles. Okay, so again, all you've got to do, uh, this value here, calculating the molar mass off the periodic table is the main one that you need to do, and make sure you can do this conversion um, using scientific notation. I'm going to show you one more. So the final one I'm going to show you, uh, I'll just switch it to my colour again, is going to be for glucose. So glucose is C6. H12O6, okay, so 6 carbons, 12 hydrogens, 6 oxygens, it has a molar mass of 180.156 grams per mole, okay, so again, calculate off the, that off the periodic table, 6 lots of carbon, 12 lots of hydrogen, 6 lots of oxygen, if you're having trouble with doing this step, um, I do have a video for calculating the molar mass of a substance, I'll put the link for that um, in the description for this video. Um, have a look at that one if you're having trouble, because that's really the main step. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the number of moles in 6.4 times 10 to the minus 3 grams. So this time what we're doing is using a very, very small amount, which is very, very common in chemistry. So number of moles equals 6.4 times 10 to the minus 3. That's also 0.0064. Okay, if you're doing that conversion between scientific notation again, over 180.156, which is the molar mass, work that out and you get this value, 0 0.0000355 moles. But well, we don't normally write that in chemistry. We will put it into scientific notation. So it will be 3.55 times 10. And we're moving this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces. So it's 10 to the negative 5 moles. And that's the number of moles. <clears throat> so hopefully you can see this is a reasonably straightforward process. All you've got to do uh, basically is um, the two things you need to remember. Okay, first one is the formula: number of moles equals mass over molar mass. And if you use the triangle, okay, if you remember the triangle, number of moles is birds over mountains. Okay, 
use that. You can calculate number of moles. And the key thing to work out is the molar mass. And you get that off the periodic table by adding up the masses of all the different atoms that are involved. All right. Hopefully this has been fairly straightforward for you. Um, if you need any help, as always, just ask. Thanks, guys.